finished the beach um, boat cap. I am very kind of the way it is. Craft beer. Ice coffee. Craft beer. Ice coffee. Craft beer. Ice coffee. Craft beer. Dinner time, street food. This is the underground food car for the village world. Uh, nom nom. Quite surprising, they got a low carb salad, noodle salad. Okay. Unfortunately, I already finished my bowl. I feel hungry. Um, Sixteen ninety. Although they say that surcharge, there's no surcharge. Maybe just the drinks. The bubble tea drinks they have such charge. This bowl surprised me is the chicken is more than the noodles. Uh, no wonder they call it low carb. Uh, not a very big bowl, but consider the portion of meat is more than the carb. I'm very impressed. So sixteen ninety is a good deal. This is Wednesday, the 27th of December, upper body gym day. Uh, coming to one of the Wellington City, City Fitness. It's very big. I like where we are high roof gym, so the air can flow through. Just give you a nice visit of this gym. So the bar, bench, dumbbells, right hand side, left hand side, machines, um, squat racks. So further down, there will be the cable. Um, so weightlifting facilities, tables, the tables, isolating exercises, and then some stretch, mats. That will be a cycling club, another stretch area, water machine, and then the cardio area, there are a lot of cycling machines, steps machines, cheap meal. And that's only the ground floor. Like in the upstairs. Um, and then shower. So let's go up the stairs and have a look. Okay, the small stretch area and great plate area, rowing machines, all conditioning exercises. Those are also very good. Oh, there are more poor bars here. I should use this one instead. Um, yeah, I'll come here once more probably and it's amazing. I like this tree more than the one um, in Auckland. I've been to like three or four of them in Auckland. But I think this one is my favorite. Okay, I find these signs in the platform 8 and 9 and they are doing more works now. Looks like it will not complete until the 7th of January. Which means my, up, my lower hut cart run will need to go by bus. Um, which is okay. Uh, the other part one that I haven't do, I don't think it's on this platform, fortunately, but I will keep an eye on there in case there's something happening. Um, look at this. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Queen Elizabeth. Wow. A very famous cruise. It's parking at Wellington support. Goodbye. Ipuni. First time taking the displacement bus for the train, for the railway. Um, isn't too bad. Uh, we hit lower huts like 20 minutes. Uh, this underground is very nice. So beautiful. 
So this is a pedestrian underground pathway. Mm. So we are heading towards the golf course. So let's check out. Mm. Oh, we require a town called Ipuni. The stores are very old, but occasionally you can see new constructions of uh, apartment blocks with three or four levels. Um, laundry, takeaway catering service. Oh, even have a vet here. Mm. So this is a rose garden, just a small garden. I like this tree, it's very bright green colors, very white. And this is the town center. They have an urgent pharmacy right at the end of the world. world. Okay, we arrived at uh, a neighbor town called Impuni. What is it called? The Bokots. So this area, this suburb is called Bokots. It's just right next to Impuni. So we walk around one kilometer just to come to this golf club and look at here they have a very beautiful pond and there are ducks swimming there I just saw some ducks I don't know where they hide Ooh. oh yeah here look at that on the way from where we um, departed into Ipuni uh, a lot of construction sites so this area I believe is well developing and I just checked some of the house prices here it isn't too bad so you get a small house for i don't know 150 meters squares not small a medium size three bedrooms house cost um, maybe 60 to 70k no 600 and 700k uh, but it's a little further away from the golf course if you get those properties here you see closer to the golf course there will be 1.5 mil that's something you expect still it is a bit cheaper than auckland Probably 30-40% cheaper than getting a property in Auckland. So one thing I also learned about golf course is um, I have to wear socks. Uh, just If you don't know about me, I like wearing this type of minimum shoe. Sometimes for convenience, I just treat it like a sandal, so I didn't wear socks. But today I wear socks. Okay. Yeah, if they find I'm not wearing, I'm not allowed to enter. That's the first run of gold. The cap cafe opened, so I order some food now. I can order my breakfast. Um, we walked it about 350 meters from the golf course and wanted to take the 120 
not that one. It's 110. 120, we will going to lower hut and city center and then transit uh, number 83 back to Wellington Station. Uh, reason for that is if we take the replacement bus for the train, it will cost more. Perhaps we do two bus, 120, and then head down to Lower Hut and go there for a while, maybe muck around in the shopping center for a while, and then taking 83 back to Wellington Station will be a better option. We arrived at uh, Lower Hut City Center, right next to the shopping mall. I took 83 buses a couple of times past here, but never landed here. So let's see how it looks like in the shopping mall. Uh, luckily, it's open today. Uh, coffee shops, sushi place. We have a lot of options now. Uh, all very finished lunch before getting back to Wellington Station. Very really decent size, uh, decent size shopping mall. Ah, fruit juice, I found it. Let's try out this one. So that's one of the places that I get my protein shake. Uh, reason is because they didn't put too much sugar in the shake, so I'll, I normally take that one. Food court. I realize these shopping centers have a lot of restaurants, cafes, and food courts everywhere. And surprisingly, all shops open on the 27th of December. Oh, I think it's well for me to stay here for a longer while. Maybe an hour later, Another lunch before returning to Wellington Station. Mm. Beautiful shopping center. I am at a very famous department store called The Warehouse in New Zealand. One thing I've been looking for is a cheap kettle. You can only find a cheap at this in a department store, eleven dollars. Okay, right? Why? Okay, there is always a myth uh, in New Zealand, maybe also elsewhere, um, that in a hotel you don't want to use their kettle. Either you bring your own, or for me, if it's cheap enough, I will just buy one in my hotel room. Reason for that is um, some people, uh, this is just a myth, okay? People saying that um, the guests will just cook their underwear to, you know, wash their underwear by cooking it in a kettle. So you don't want to use that kettle. My family normally bring their own kettle. For me, I would rather prefer, okay, getting an $11 kettle. Only if the hotel room provide some really good teas and coffee for me to drink, okay, that will be my option. Mm. But um, during the Christmas time, I think I finished off the teas that the hotel room provide for me. So that's pointless for me to get the kettle now. What is this place? Place for great taste. Oh, it just means a food court, okay. So many food places in here. Uh, food everywhere. Oh, look at this. Behind me is the lower hut, uh, War Memorial Library. So what happened? We bought the 83 bus from the shopping mall. However, um, it is in the opposite directions. So anyone come to lower hut, uh, have a chance taking the 83, make sure you read the words on the bus. If it's going to Eastbourne, it's to Eastbourne. If you want to head back to Wellington City, you have to take the opposite direction. It's called Quality Place or something like that. It's the last station um, in CBD, Wellington. So someone alert us that it is to Eastbourne. That's why we took the one station and end up in this Memorial War Library. And we continue waiting for the correct bus to uh, Wellington City. Thank you.
historic police stations at home, historic jail. Okay. Now it's about 2 p.m. in the afternoon, back to Wellington City, near the Wellington Station. One place I'm very curious is this place. Um, what is this? Government building is historical issue. Public display on ground and first walls open Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. I don't know if now considered as public holiday, but I can go and have a look if it's open or not. Okay, this statue, the right owner by Peter Flasser C. Dodge. Who is he? Is it a solicitor or is it a lawyer or what? Is that or, or judge or some type of governor probably? Um, I don't know if they allow beaming. James, James. What are you doing here? Are you sleeping? What happened to you? Are you get hurt? Looks like it doesn't fly, doesn't walk, some some problem with this pigeon. Yeah. Um, there's a lady behind me. Uh, like us, we are very curious about this building. And then I see a sign post inside the building. It's not open now. Um, the post mentioning this is the largest timber construction in the world. So if you look carefully, four levels, but each level is very tall. So if you only use timber to create this um, construction, it is very amazing. I would guess the timber they use is cowry. Otherwise, it wouldn't hold. It wouldn't hold that strong for this size of the building. Biggest timber constructions government building in the world. Okay, at least I learned one thing here. <laughs>